Kratia is one of my favorite Warframe, and I have been using her a lot in the skill path lately. I will share my build for her in this video. If you don't have her yet, check out my other video on how to get yourself a Pratia. Pratia will come with a universal or a mod polarity with another V and dash polarity. For this build, we will be using 6 Forma. Here is a short explanation of her kit, her first ability have two function. Tap and hold, a tap will throw out shrapnel vortex, and will deal slash damage on the enemies. Holding on the ability will give you a lot of shield, and we will be using this a lot in this build. The second ability Blaze Artillery will deploys these nukes that will deal high damage. The third ability Dispensary will give you health orb, energy orb and ammos. The fourth ability is Temporal Anchor. When you use this ability it will create an anchor, and at the end of the ability you will return to the anchor. If you die while the ability is active, you will return back to the anchor. It's a bit gimmicky in my opinion, and I will not be using this ability in this build. But you can still have fun with it if you like. For this build I have replaced it with Master Summon. It will let you revive your companion with just a button. For the Ormod, we will go with Growing Power. It will buff your ability whenever you apply status effects with your weapons. If you don't have Prime Shorefooted yet, you can replace it with Power Drift, and if you do, you will need a different polarity for this slot, so keep that in mind. Arch and Vitality will give you health and extra heat procs on Blaze Artillery. Adaptation and Rolling Guard for survivability, these mods are very useful in Steel Path missions. Blind Rage and Transient Fortitude for ability strength, we want to have as much strength as possible. It will maximize damage output for our blaze artillery. For arcanes, energize is necessary for this build, rank 3 is okay, if you don't have rank 5. The second arcane molt augmented, will give us a few extra strength in the mission. If you have crimson shard, put as many of them as you can for bonus strength. Right now we have 1740 heat damage on our blaze artillery, with growing power and molt augmented combined we will get more damage in the mission. So let's drop into a steel path mission to show how it works. You drop your dispensary. When you come back it will have energy orb ready for you. Hold your first ability to gain overshield, then spam blaze artillery for. Make sure that your overshield and dispensary are always active. You can pause the game if you're in solo mode to see the effects of growing power and molt augmented on your damage output. If you have status afflicted on you, just roller dash to remove all of them. When the acolyte spawn, use your blaze artillery and roll around to gain immunity from your rolling guard. So this is my steel path build for Pratia. Let me know what you think about this in the comment. Like and subscribe for more Warframe guides. Thank you for watching.